Yesterday, I was working with a student and we were going through the cord wheel. This is something I drew out. I usually start people on E, go to A, to D, to G, and then to C. These are your more pleasant keys for guitar. That's E, A, D, G, C. It gets kind of hellish over here on F, A sharp, D sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, and B, because those are kind of like bar chords. So these have open strings, E, A, D, G, C. If you go this way, they're fourths. And if you go this way, they're fifths. And that matters. I'm thinking about trying to convert this into some sort of a poster. I can mail it out to you. Um, but I can show you what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, yesterday I did a lesson with a student, a two-chord jam, where we were going we were going from G to C. G to C. I'm going to show you what we were doing. The student... Well, let's see, where's my... Ah, my Gibson acoustic. He was strumming G to C like a this G to C he was going like that does sound pretty cool that the root and C is the fourth that's a one to a four and it's it's kind of like treading water we're just kind of there we're just treading it's not really going any place and that's fine it's just stable I visualize like a pool of water a beautiful pool of water that's very still and reflective no waves so it's just we're not making waves You know what? One weird little deal. I'm not plowing this, the pick through the strings with force. I'm just light. Get that lightness. And if you need to dig in, you can, you know, punch it later. But for what we're doing, we're trying to get a calm quality. You get the idea. Very simple, but important. Now, I'm going to throw on, uh, show you what I was doing with the, the lead guitar business on top. I was doing like a... comfortable holding the guitar up here so I can show you but uh, I'll show you what one of my favorites that I was doing yesterday was just going like so what that is is a G on the second string eighth fret and uh, got my index on that I'm going to grab this A and bend it up to a B. Let's check what that's all about. G, A, B. That's my target tone. I'm going to try to get that precisely on a B. When I bend, I use ring and middle. My index is kind of helping to control this third string so it doesn't make any noise. And I'm going to hit the fourth string and push it up a little bit. So index is helping to control these other strings. And pinky is going to hit, I'm going to harmonize. Pinky is going to hit first string, 10th fret D. And so I might put the pick in here and... Or smart people do hybrid picking with their pick and finger.
and that would work on a G chord. When I go to C, out to C, that one, I'm uh, working off of a C chord like this. Here's a C, here's a D, and push. Uh, so that's a D, I'm pushing up to an E. And harmonizing with this G, second string, eighth fret. So I got I'm pretty unhip by putting my pick in here, but Brian Setzer does that. <laughs> uh, smart people. Oh, that feels weird. <laughs> I might even do a C or a G plus a C here, which is just the top part of a C bar chord. And you can do like loads of different things, you know. I was doing like. If you like more of that, I can do a whole bunch more, but let's keep her kind of short, and uh, if you like it, let me know, and I'll make more kind of twangy two-chord jams. I think it was cool. I'll, I can film more students if you dig that, too, if they'll let me, but uh, hang in there. Keep practicing.